Hello guys, I hope you are all well. I am very well, thank you for asking. Because I recently received my newest helmet and it is just absolutely stunning, I think. Uh, so I ordered it from Italy. It's from uh, the magic place called eBay. And it is a helmet magazine, Ferrari helmet magazine series or whatever it's called and this one was in uh, the 58th um, edition or something i'm not sure uh, anyway they do this uh, helmet magazine series in italy unfortunately unfortunately only over there i'm not in here but uh, it doesn't stop me from ordering from ebay because I really badly wanted this helmet. I really liked the 2022 uh, Charles Leclerc helmet design. And uh, thankfully this is very very similar. There is a little bit more um, red on this one. I think that bit is white on the 2022 or something like that. That's pretty much the only difference I think. Mainly. Uh, yeah, very very nice quality. It, it was quite cheap. It was uh, oh, I can't even tell you exactly. It was 16,000 Hungarian forints, which makes about less than 40 euros, I think uh, Including postage. So it's pretty good. The visor It is red. I don't know if it's real or I mean how realistic is that you can see that it is see through um it does look cool but i don't think it's it's real it's probably like black or see-through any kind of dark color um it's got a matte finish which is absolutely beautiful again the stickers absolutely spot on look at that not spark or mini champs can do this quality the stickers of them is usually like even on the matte surfaces, they are like very shiny, glossy. On this one, no it isn't. It's just beautiful. There is one thing I need to mention. Probably they had to make it cheaper in some way. So they didn't cut this sticker. So this is a separate bit from the... Sorry, yes. It's a separate bit from a separate part of the helmet. And the sticker just goes right through it you can see it so that's it doesn't look very nice but that's really the only thing i can that's really the only bad thing i can say about this and it's not really visible my only worry is that how long is this going to last before it will start to fall apart hopefully it won't anyway and it doesn't come off from the base so it's gonna be another uh, task to do it because you know guys I am a helmet freak and if I've got a helmet I have to remove it from the base so yeah there will be like maybe I can even pull it off but I think a little cut will do the trick I haven't got a knife here right oh here we go it popped so it will come off nice and gently Okay, you know what? I'm gonna do it now. I actually do have a knife in here. Yeah, why not? It's always, you know, good to have a knife in case you need it. And pop! There we go. Wow. The inside obviously looks like meh. Nothing. It's, it's just a small helmet, so they didn't really work on the inside but at least they put something there so yeah here we go Charles Leclerc's helmet 1 to 5 scale 2023 pretty nice it is actually one of my favorite helmets uh, yeah not much more to say about this thanks for watching and uh, I put the knife away Make sure no one's going to have a nightmare. Uh, yeah, that's that. 
I think I'm going to review another helmet soon. I already spoiled it. It's a, it's a Valtteri Bottas helmet. Uh, in fact, actually, I do have three 2023 helmets now. Um, for some reason, I'm a, I'm a big fan of them recently. And I'm sure I'm going to buy some more. So again, thanks for watching and uh, see you later, guys. Have a good one.